Hello everyone, Paul Hanners here, and uh, I'm going to be doing a video of Perfect World International. Yesterday they released their newest expansion, Perfect World Genesis. Uh, sorry for the noise on the mic. Just getting set up here. Um, which added to the Rising Tide, which is where I started at. And... Uh, so this is the first time I've gone in here. I mean, I've gotten to this screen, and I decided not to look at anything else because I wanted to experience it with everybody. So uh, let's go ahead and check this out. We go to create race. So the Earth Guard are the newest race. So we're gonna go ahead and discuss all this other stuff. So here you have the human. All right, and when you're choosing your class here you can then choose your gender so humans have blade masters um, I'm not gonna read all this text except to uh, you know give basic stuff uh, blade masters wear heavy armor and they are a physical attacker as in they do physical damage excuse me while wizards wear not so heavy armor and utilize magic damage. Now every race has a physical damage dealer and a spell damage dealer. And then you can choose your gender depending on whatever. So the humans have Blade Master and Wizard. Alright, then you have the Untamed. Now the Untamed uh, class is tied together with their gender. So you'll see the Barbarian here. Barbarian is their physical attacker. Um, what I know is at level 9 he can transform into a white tiger, big white tiger, and that helps him out somehow. I don't know, haven't gotten there. All right, then you have the Venomancer, so in order to change these you select your classes. Last time you had to choose your gender to switch between classes. The Female Untamed are the magic casters. They're the only ones who can have animal companions like the hunters in World of Warcraft or the rangers in Guild Wars. They can have a animal companion, but they are a spell caster. So you can almost say if you took like a Warcraft warlock and smashed its face in with a hunter so that instead of demons you got pets, you can consider that, you know, close enough to the, your idea of playing this character. Um, I haven't gotten very far, and at level 9 you can turn into a fox. My problem with that is the fox has mascara. Why would a fox have mascara on? I don't know. It's also got some blush and I think some lipstick, so, and eyeliner. All stuff you should never have on a fox. But anyways, yeah. Um, these character, uh, ones, like the male barbarian, they don't have the most customization when you uh, can go in and play with their features and stuff. You can choose between a wolf, a lion, a tiger, which is what you see here, and a panda. I think the panda's head should be more round with a longer snout, but I'll get around to showing you guys that anyways. With the females, unless they change something, because they could have, I mean they just released an expansion yesterday. Um. Prior to it, you could not choose your ears and, I mean, your uh, head ornaments and your tail. That would be determined by choosing your base. And um, when I get around to actually making a character, you'll see what I mean by the base sets, is they have custom, uh, I mean, they have pre-made selections, and then you can go in and alter the selections. Well, you would have to choose the pre-made selection with the head ornament and tail that you wanted. So there was... Um, Tigers, cats, um, I mean, sorry, uh, uh, cat ears with cat tail, um, you have bunny ears with bunny tail, um, fox ears with fox tail. Now, I also saw that there are two different sizes of fox tail, so there might be another thing in there. Um, there's some antlers, which I thought were really cool looking. Then you have this little bat wings and, you know, succubus tail or... Uh, spaded tail is what it's actually called. And then you have the winged elves. And the, their classes are cleric 
and Archer. Archer is their physical damage dealer, while the Cleric is their spellcaster. Now, the Cleric can heal, which is cool, you know, makes it a Cleric, and the Archer is an Archer. I don't know if they can get any form of pet whatsoever, because I haven't seen any and it doesn't say you can. Um, I played the uh, Cleric to level 9, and with the Winged Elves, it says right up here somewhere that they gain flying at level 1. They spawn these big wings, notice the little wings on their head, spawn these big wings and allow them to fly around. My problem with it is, if you toggle walk, alright, because you can toggle between your natural just jogging state and walk. Well, if you toggle the walk, and you set down a straight path, like it's a flat road, you gotta go to the inside. And someone was floating next to you on their wings, level one, same as you. And they were flying, and you guys target the same location, you guys start going. The person who's walking will get there first. When you get to level 9, it says it increases your flight speed. Well, when it increases the flight speed, you almost go as fast as when you jog. The only time I see that the flying is useful yet for the natural winged elves is if you got to cross a mountain range, you just fly up and then go. And then you avoid the hole having to climb over the mountains. You know, crossing over lakes, you know, rough terrain, it makes a difference. Otherwise, it's useless. So do not choose your character class based on the fact that they get flying at level 1. Alright, the Tideborn. Their two classes are the Psychic, is their caster, and the Assassin, which is their physical damage dealer. I definitely prefer the, f the uh, female looking Tideborn. They're smexy. Anyways, um, I played a little bit of the Assassin, and I've only gotten to level 5, I think. Might be level 3. Anyways, what I found with the Assassin is your special abilities at the low levels do not compensate for the fact that your natural, your auto attack does more damage overall. Now what I see is going on is, because what I've played with my level 9, and I also have a level 8 and a couple other guys, is once you start uh, getting into certain areas, some creatures they absorb a shit ton of damage. Alright, and so you'll need some powerful attacks, and those special abilities that you're going to be using are going to tear those guys to shreds. So, um, I can see that the classes here, I mean, like the assassin, is going to benefit from you knowing what you're doing a lot more. Because every fight is going to change. While well, with the Psychic, I've only played a Psychic to level 3. And like with most spellcasters, until you start getting up to level 5 and level 6, you're pretty much going to one-shot everything. Alright, and then uh, Earth and Guard. Okay, so the Seeker... The Seeker is... Ooh, I don't remember. Because there's the Seeker and then there's the Mystic. Judging by their outfits, the Seeker is probably the physical guy. I'm going to go ahead and read this because this is the new class. The new race is the Earthen Guard. The new classes are Seeker and Mystic. Um, the Seeker. A Seeker is a starch defender, or straunch, whatever, defender of the land itself. Possessing great stamina, Seekers combine mental spells, or metal spells, and material prowess to become a master of both close quarters and ranged combat. What I read on the website was that a seeker will then be able to will be able to use his spells to empower his weapons depending on the fight in order to strengthen and decrease uh, um, strengthen his ability versus his opponents. I don't know how big of a deal that'll be. And then mystics, preferring to avoid close quarters combat, a mystic still adheres to the same philosophy of uh, protecting the natural world. To that end, mystics use wood magic to both summon natural beings as well as soothe their comrades' wounds. What I read on the website stated that these guys can heal, they can they have offensive spells, healing spells, and they can gain the ability to summon temporary minions. Ooh, bald chicks. I like the bald chicks. Oh my god, look how skimpy that outfit is. Yum. And that one? Yeah. Well, anyways, um... So that's pretty much going to cover the basics of the character classes. Um, 
due to the fact that I don't have anyone like sitting here suggesting anything to me, I have to choose which race I want to do first. I'm kind of thinking I want to try the Earthen Guard. Alright, so I need to come up with a name. Alright, so what it looks like right here is you have no customization. Well, that's not true. This game has one of the best customizing features that I've seen of any MMO, uh, period. So let's go ahead and uh, come up with a name. Uh, hmm. Seeker, Earthen Guard. Drock. Drocken. I don't know what that's from. Does it work? Name is already taken. Of course it is. It's one of the things that I think all MMOs should do. Create a first and a last name where you can have any combination. You know. So, uh. Drocken. Or, uh. How about Craze. Krazak. Or, that's Karzak, not Krazak. Kray. Or, Karzak isn't bad. Karzak? Does that work? Already taken. See, you're gonna have to go through a shit ton of this. I think they should come up with a few more servers, that way it's a little more even. There's so many people playing this game. Um. Hmm. Krazen. Grazen, does that work? Already taken. <sighs> well then. Now the starter zone of this area is definitely going to be populated quite heavily with hundreds of people saying, ooh, I want to play. So when we get in there, we might find it might be a little too laggy for me and go, but I shouldn't have any issue if I could ever get a name. <laughs> Uh, Alderine. Uh, no, that name sucks. Um, <laughs> Xavier. Uh, da, 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 da. So, Earthen Guard. Earth Guard. So, let's see here. Ooh, the mysterious race created by the gods. Each Earthguard warrior bears a relic upon their foreheads that can discern evil. Unable to ignore the coming chaos, the Earthguard have returned to right injustices. Uh, so let's see here. Justice, justice, justice. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I'm trying to think of a name. And. Faust. Faust is not a good name for this situation. Lurfet Razul. 